we're here for the October Grandma's Recipe Box block for block party. And I wanna show you uh, real quickly here, a uh, simple technique for making this block. So the one we're gonna do this month is the bow tie block. So it's a lot of fun. I uh, like the polka dot background in this. It's a very Christmassy look. Here's apple crunch with the bright bold colors in it, deep colors. And then here is the Waldorf salad with your 1930s prints and the white background, off-white background. So to make these little bow tie blocks, very simple. You've probably, uh, many of you have done them before. But um, the traditional way of sewing the triangles on the little background pieces here is, as the pattern shows, you just draw a line and sew on it and trim your seam allowance and fold it over. Well, sometimes that doesn't always come out just right in there. You come out with it just a little, little bit short of that. So what we're gonna do is use the simple folded corners ruler designed by Doug Lico. And I'll show you how you can make those without having to draw the line. Okay, so we're gonna take the one inch square, which is your background here. I mean the two and a half inch square, um, the background color. Take one of your little one and a half inch squares to put on there to make the little triangle. Okay, using this ruler, you're going to look for the marking on here that says one and a half because this is one and a half inches. So I'm gonna lay that on there just like that. The top edge of your ruler will always be the top edge of your block unit that you're working on. Here it says one and a half. So the half inch means one and a half. That's going to be on the other side of your unit that you're working on. This makes a square in here. Okay, so you're gonna take this, cut it right across there. Then you're gonna take this to your sewing machine and you're gonna sew with an accurate quarter inch seam allowance to get that in there. Then you're gonna take it to the iron and press it over and you have a nice little one and a half, uh, two and a half inch square still, okay? Now, if you wanna work for even more precision and be super precise of what you're doing, then we're going to do the oversized version. Doug has on here um, the oversized folded corner chart for how big to cut your triangle squares that will go on there. So the, your, your base square will remain the same. It's still two, in, two and a half inches cut. So for a one and a half inch, you're replacing a one and a half inch square, you're going to cut, according to this chart, uh, a two and a quarter inch square. Okay, you're gonna take that two and a quarter inch square and cut it in half diagonally, All right? Then you're gonna take your uh, simple folded corners ruler. I'm gonna take my two and a half inch square. It remains the same size, no matter what technique you're using. And I still wanna put it on here at the one and a half inch markings on the ruler, the same markings I, I used on the, the other method. Okay, so one inch and a half inch right here. So I'm gonna take my cutter, trim off that little piece, take this um, triangle that I cut, see how it's oversized, and then we're going to sew um, all the way across there put that on there, it's oversized. Now the nice thing about this method is since it is oversized, you have less chance of when you get to the end, sometimes your stitching seems to veer off to the uh, in inside a little bit, um, much less likely to have that happen because you got fabric to keep on going onto. So that prevents that. So you're gonna sew that on there, uh, like this is here, press that open with your iron, then you are going to take the other side of your ruler. And again, this is a two and a half inch square that we're starting with. So we use the two and a half inch markings on here. These sides are squared up. That's even up there. We're going to trim this off. And now you have a perfect two and a half inch square unit that you're going to use 
in here to match up with your two and a half inch squares that match it for your bow tie. Now if you want to make it larger, you can use this for different sizes just to move on a little bit so you know how practical this is. Um, I took a, a, a larger square on here, so say you want a two inch finished um, triangle in here, you will cut your, uh, your square for the triangles at three and a quarter inches, cut them in half, um, use the ruler on here to line that up to cut off your, your square first, press that over, then you're going to put this on here, actually this will line up here, that lines up there, you trim it away, and you have a corner on there. For snowballs, um, you can do flying geese this way, you can do um, a lot of different units that you're probably familiar with that are quite common. So um, again, if you have a two and a half inch one you're going to use, you'll cut this in half. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. Let's see, do it right here. Let's say we're going to do a two and a half inch uh, square that we're starting with, which will make a two inch finished. Cut that, put this on here, kind of center it like that. Sew your quarter inch seam, fold it over, turn that around to trim it up. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm using the mini simple folded corners ruler here. Uh, it's nice for small units and small blocks like this. If you want to do larger ones, the, uh, we are, Doug also has a larger one that you can uh, get for, for larger blocks. We'll go up to about a six inch uh, triangle that you're starting out with. That's pretty big. That's not very common that you would use a six inch one. But this will do small ones. But if you don't need a big one, this is much more practical because you don't have all this extra ruler to work around with. The large one comes with a free pattern in it to make a little table runner. Shows right there. So I hope you benefited from this little video on tips. And you don't have to use these techniques. You can just follow the pattern. But um, we'll see you on Block Party Day. And just to remind you, the second Saturday and second Monday of every month is Block Party Day. Mm -hmm.